and it's a little bright in Old Orchard this morning. Old Orchard Beach, we're checking out there, but uh, not too much sun just yet, but it is pretty warm if you've been out there. Those are from Hurricane Epsilon, which is offshore this weekend. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. It'd be good for surfers Yeah, out there. surfers are probably gonna be out there. I'd expect at Higgins and down in Wells too. Mm, so. yep. Yeah, good surfing weather this weekend. And accordingly, it's actually very mild this morning. Uh, the water temperature right around the air temperature right now, 55 in Portland, 53 in Bangor, and 52 in Millinocket early this morning. Our average high temperature this time of the year, average high is in the mid 50s. So we're already starting our morning at those levels. We can thank a southerly wind helping keep the temperatures up overnight and quite a bit of cloud cover overnight as well. Speaking of Epsilon, this is some of the high cloudiness associated with the storm now just working into down east Maine. Won't see anything other than some clouds from it, but something interesting nonetheless. Back to the west, we do have a little band of showers, and this is along a cold front that will be sweeping in today. So there is a chance for a couple of showers, but I think a lot of these will be drying up. So the bark is a little bit worse than the bite, so to speak on the radar, but behind this front, more importantly, there is much chillier air. We'll go from the 50s this morning into the 30s by tomorrow morning. So big changes are ahead. Uh, this warm up will not be lasting through the whole weekend. So eight o'clock, a lot of clouds. Temperatures will be in temperatures will be in the 50s. By 11 o'clock, here comes that front working through northern New Hampshire, working through the mountains and up north, and maybe a brief passing shower is possible along it. But as this front comes south of the mountains, a lot of those showers should dry up. So some places will go the whole day and not even see a raindrop. And ahead of the front, it'll be quite mild. Temperatures getting into the 60s for most of us this afternoon. And then once that front goes by, we will clear out this evening and temperatures will quickly be cooling down. So if you have dinner plans tonight, don't be deceived by the warm temperatures this afternoon up into the 60s for most of us because those will be dropping as soon as the sun goes down tonight. Overnight lows will be in the 30s, likely to get some frost inland tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow is a much chillier day, actually colder than it is right now. The highs tomorrow only in the upper 40s to lower 50s, but we will have bright sunshine. So despite the cool down, at least it will be a bright looking day, kind of the trade off for the cooler weather. High pressure in place tomorrow, then this starts to move northeast on Monday, but the chilly air will remain in place as a weak weather system moves in on Monday. Most of us will get rain showers out of it, but it could be just cold enough in the mountains and up north for some mixed snow and rain showers Monday afternoon and Monday night. We'll keep you posted on that. Probably not much, if any, accumulation, but some flakes in the air and the high elevations nonetheless. Tuesday, a little system to our south. We'll have to see if that brings us any extra showers on Tuesday, but right now, looks like the steady rain should, should stay to our south. Here is Epsilon this morning, Category 1 hurricane. It is headed out to sea, but it is sending some wave action our way already this morning. We have waves four, five, six feet offshore, and we're expecting them to build to six to nine feet. Add that to a gusty wind, it'll be a choppy day on the water, so a small craft advisory is in effect. So cloudy but mild today with the chance for a brief sprinkle or shower. Most of the time will be dry. High temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Clear colder tomorrow, upper 40s to around 50. Cloudy for both Monday and Tuesday. Looks like we'll get some rain showers Monday afternoon. Potential we get some snowflakes up in the mountains. And then we should dry out for Wednesday and Thursday. Right now I do think Thursday will be the warmest day of the week. And then we'll watch Friday. It looks like it'll turn colder. There will be a storm to our south on Friday. Hopefully it's stays there because it will be cool around here and we don't want any more snowflakes in the forecast just yet. Yeah. So. Hey, maybe that's how you'll get that extra bonus in your paycheck. Just yeah, kind of push it on out there. Right. Hey, people like to click on those stories. Huh? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah.